Welcome to the first descendants. Um, I don't know if you're new or pro or whatever. Um, I'm gonna give you five simple, easy tips for any new player and even players who've been playing for a good second. I'm not the best, of course. I'm only master rank 15. Of course, I, I have a few descendants, but I'm deep enough into the game where there are some nuanced things that I did not know that will just improve your experience. So, um, tip one, by the way, this is going to be very simple. Um, always go to access info. If you need to learn anything in the game, you will find it here from weapons to descendants, where to get their parts where to go to get them <laughs> but um it, it shows you everything you need to know even stuff you don't have for example you could look through every single mod in the entire game if you'd like and you could just figure out what you want there there are so many mods that is insane and the fact that i'm um, there's still plenty of purple mods I haven't got yet like and maybe it's just the different weapon types like sip number two so many people might not know this I don't know if the game has explained it clearly but I know I had to figure it out myself but um there's a quicker way to do um, operations and um, these special operations so um, you don't have to go to the map just to do them. You could just come right here. And all the ones you have unlocked, it shows you the items you can get from them. Like this one gives fire conductor, uh, and for material, you get the gist. Tip, tip number three. The bosses, the bosses, the colossal fights. Make sure you pay attention to their weaknesses and strengths because this can impact your damage a lot. You can go from doing millions of damage to hundreds of thousands of damage. I said that backwards, but it still it still makes sense. It's telling you this boss right here is very strong against fire do not use fire against him he's also strong against electric do not bring electric he's normal against poison so poison will do a decent amount of normal damage but then ice will chill frost cold antarctica whatever you want to call this element um well attribute he's very weak to uh chill so make sure you bring the chill on your weapons and also bring pierce weakness type weapons are pierce crush and burst use a pierce ice weapon fairly simple fairly simple tip fourth tip this is something i definitely did not know at the beginning of the game so it's this is a pretty like high up there tip. Um, make sure you pay attention to your weapon's base stats. Every weapon is different. This weapon's base critical chance is 20%. Although its base is 20%, I've added 47%. But just because of how percentages work and such, um, I don't fully understand the percentages uh, completely, but the 20% went to 29%. And I'm doing this by hitting weapon info right here at the bottom while modding the gun. But um, as you see, the 20 went to 29 and anything else that's buffed off that, like for example, um, these stats right here are for your base stats. So those four substats, are applied to the base stat, which you can see from right here. Firearm, look, the the original crit hit damage for this weapon is 2.58, 586, whatever. And the added from the from the um, 
substat is 29.3 so that basically brings it to 30 ish and so it's a crit weapon as well but it's actual crit is probably higher than 36 percent because i have a max crit rate well almost max crit rate mod on there so that's 24 percent getting added so now that crit rate is almost 50 percent and it's not even max five tip number five HP, defense, shields, they all matter. They all tie into each other. Of course, some descendants use it more than others. Use one more than others. Um, Freyna, she has low defense. She has decent HP and low max shields. Well, I guess the shields and the HP are about the same max mp and uh, but we're talking about shield defense and hp right now so um how do you not die you may be asking or how do you scale these these um multipliers or what is the correct way to scale a, a descendant i have thirteen thousand defense on her and 649 shields with 2000 hp this defense would not matter if I didn't have this HP or shield. Defense only matters for shield and HP. So how much ever shield you have, your defense will scale and give reduction to whatever that is, to, to shield or um, HP whatever that number may be so 649 with 13,000 shield I mean defense is like a certain amount of like damage reduction on the shield and it scales off the max shield so 13,000 would be like 13% of the shield or something like this. some some weird number like that I don't know the exact percentages but you get the gist so if you're using defense if, if you do not have HP or or shield on your character do not add defense some characters can probably go without defense because they have mechanics that can heal or etc or get them out of a pinch um, and I'm not even using the best mods, of course. Look where I'm at. I'm using multi-talented just for some saucy gameplay. This this build is not finished, but without this HP, this defense would not matter at all. It just wouldn't. It just wouldn't matter. It just wouldn't matter. Um, so those are my five tips. Um. I hope you guys enjoyed this little simple video. It wasn't it wasn't anything too extravagant, but hey. Top five tips for beginners and pros alike. Let me know if there's something that I missed within my explanations. But other than that, thank you guys for watching the video and it was Josh Imo and I'm out.